Hi, my name is Nigel Lang. I'm a critical care paramedic with Devon Air Ambulance. Uh, I've been with Devon Air Ambulance for 12 years now. In that time, I have seen countless numbers of extremely serious road traffic collisions, as you can probably imagine. In fact, it takes up to about 30% of our work. So the purpose of this short video is to give you a bit more information about uh, the impact of those road traffic collisions on me and what I think I might be able to do um, moving forwards. So um, I can't explain really in, uh, in, in detail what I see. As you can probably imagine, it is horrific sometimes. Um, when I arrive, sometimes it's too late. Um, there are casualties that have tragically already died. Um, sometimes when we arrive, the patient hasn't got long before they die and they die in our company. And that is really quite harrowing for us as the first responders. And then of course, sometimes our patients die some time later in hospital. But of course, not everybody in a road traffic collision will die. Those are the ones we tend to remember the most. For every uh, fatality, there are countless more people that have life-changing injuries. Injuries that uh, remain with them for the rest of their lives and will impact on them such that it means that they will not necessarily be able to continue with the uh, lifestyle and their, um, their profession that they were hoping to undertake. So it affects people significantly. I think the other thing you need to remember is of course road traffic collisions affect not just the patients but a much wider group of people and this is what we call the ripple effect. So um, there's the patient, there's their family and their friends. Then of course there are the people that witness the road traffic collision. Um, there are the people that um, are there as a, an emergency first responder. Um, think about those people that have been found to cause the road traffic collision. You'll notice I'm using the word tra road traffic collision um, quite deliberately rather than a, a road traffic accident because I passionately believe there's no such thing as an accident. I don't also believe that people set off on their journey deliberately to cause um, collisions uh, or to cause death or maiming, but it is what happens and it happens because of the way people sometimes choose to drive. And it's that choice that people make that makes the big difference between whether people arrive safely or they have a horrific incident along the way. So it's for me it's about the decisions that people make. Um, it's making that uh, overtake on an inappropriate road. It's choosing to have an alcoholic drink before you get in the car. Even if you think it's just the one, you are clearly going to react much slower. Uh, it's thinking that it's okay to speed more than what the road conditions allow. So, for me, if there's one thing I can leave you with, one message that I would like to get across, it would be to ask those people that are uh, passengers within a car to speak up when they are feeling uncomfortable. When a passenger is feeling that the driver is driving too fast or without the concentration a driver needs, 
uh, I would ask you to speak up and ask them to slow down or to stop, to say that it's making you feel uncomfortable. And I think it's the passengers that can make such a big difference. So that's my request to you. Thank you.